Hello, Sun Lakes. I'm Anita Lawrence, your Good Day Sun Lakes host, and I'm thrilled to have Courtney Taylor, the publisher of Lifestyles Magazine, here with me today to talk about the upcoming 20th anniversary of Lifestyles Magazine. Welcome, Courtney. I'm so glad to see you. How are you? I'm good. It's nice to see you, Anita. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's been a while since we've seen each other. It has. Good thing there's Facebook. I can follow you and Bill and all of your adventures. Well, we do manage to keep busy. Good. Well, moving on, I believe that you were only 24 when you started um, Image Up Advertising and Design. I'm very impressed with the fact that you were 24. Can you give our viewers a little information about the startup of your company? Sure. When I was 24, I was working at an ad agency in Orange County, and I realized how I didn't work well with people. They were catty and gossipy, and um, they didn't just focus on their work and delight in what they did. And I decided I was um, meant to be on my own. And so during my lunchtime at that place, I went out and I started getting clients, and I would work after hours on my own projects. And in about a month, I was making more on my lunch hour than I was the eight hours that I was working there. And I thought, well, this is not right. So I started my business and I went full time and I've never looked back. I'm just so impressed with the fact that, you know, 24 years old, I was still trying to figure out, you know, what I was going to do with my life. Anyways, how did you become acquainted with the Sun Lakes community? Well, I started dating my husband, Tim Taylor, in 1997, and he was in property management. And we'd been seeing each other about six months, and we decided to take a trip to the desert. And on our way to Palm Springs, we stopped here because he knew the general manager at the time. And we played a round of golf at the beautiful championship course. And Sun Lakes was just breathtaking. It was like this oasis. There was nothing around. It was just Sun Lakes and CHP at the time. And I fell in love and he said, this is where I want to go someday. When I get the promotion that I want, this is where I want to end up. So. And Tim was our general manager for a while. He was a general manager in 2000, I think he came here, 2001. And we were living in a little um, apartment in Beaumont mm -hmm. while our house in Ukaipa was being built. And I started becoming friends with a lot of the board members because he was the GM and he was very, if you know him, he's very gregarious and yes. personable. And so we would go out to dinners with, with the board and with you know all sorts of different members of the community. I had my first uh, New Year's here in 2000. So, um, yeah, we got really involved in Sun Lakes at that time. Well, that's, that's fantastic. Well, since you've been around for so long, how has Sun Lakes evolved in the 20 years since you've been publishing Lifestyles? Well, like I said, it was an oasis in the middle of this pass area that was very sleepy, very um, kind of antique -y in, you know, their, their sense of pace, very I guess. Rural. Very rural. And um, whenever we'd come here, like to the 4th of July things or to any parties, it was like being on a cruise ship because this was all there was. So everybody stayed on the cruise ship. Everybody was in the restaurant or on the tennis courts or on the golf course. It was very busy because this was all there was. It was very concentrated. Mm -hmm. And now there's so many other options and the, the community has changed so much, it's not quite the island that it was. So, you know, things change, and, you know, there's, there's good and bad, mm -hmm. but I do miss the kind of cruise ship lifestyle that it was. Well, I believe you brought one of the photocopied newsletters that was being distributed to the residents prior to the start of Lifestyles, and you also brought a copy of the very first Lifestyles magazine that you produced in 2003. Can you show the viewers what they looked like? Sure. So this is what, when um, we started you know, getting involved here, this is what was being distributed, and it's just stapled in the corner. It's photocopied, and I don't know how they, I think they mailed it. Yeah, they had a little mailing here. So this actually went in the mail, 
And I was friends with, like I said, the board members. And I said to Don Erickson, who was the president at the time, you guys are a stunning community. This does not reflect a stunning community. You need something nicer. So he said, okay, we'll go ahead and present something to the committee, the lifestyles committee. And so I presented something and the current printer who was doing this presented something. And I had presented, you know, kind of what it evolved into. And um, the committee at the time did not want to change. They did not, not like change. So they decided, you know, we're, thank you for your time, Courtney, but we're going to go ahead and stick with what we have. And they took my comp to their printer and said, do everything that she did here. And so they changed their format to what I had proposed. And when I saw that, you know, I lost my mind. I was upset. And I went to Don and I said, this is what I gave them and this is what they've done now. Mm -hmm. And so he went into them and he said, you're an advisory committee, you advise us and the board, as board members, we make the decision. And if you don't like that we're deciding to go with Courtney, then you can leave. And everybody got up and left except for one committee member, Marvin Haas, who stayed. And it was the 13th of September, and they called me and they said, we don't have a committee, we don't have a printer, and we have all these articles, and we need it out on the first. And I had two weeks, and I said, no problem, I'll do it. And I scrambled, and I actually ran out into the parking lot, and I took a picture of one of the lampposts that I thought was so quaint, and I put it together, and I've been doing it ever since. And I, I, I like the pressure, I like the deadlines, and I kind of thrive in that. So the way that it began was perfect. Well, the, the Lifestyle Magazine has come a long, long way in the 20 years since you began. And I, I have to tell you, Courtney, I look forward to getting this magazine every single month. I don't want to throw the issues away. I think it's something that you and our community can be very proud of. So I know you love the 4th of July and you have a long uh, personal association with both residents and events here. And um, so... I know that your children kind of grew up coming to Sun Lake's events such as the 4th of July. Can you talk about that? Yes, my, my son was born in 1999 and we have another uh, son who was a little bit older and we raised our little one, you know, coming to all the, all the fun events here. And 4th of July is just such a nice, happy, exciting day. I remember for years I would get up early and I'd get down here and I'd photograph the parade route and you know then we'd go to the barbecue and my son remembers you know at two and three with his nephews and my my mom and my stepdad we'd, we'd come here and it was just such an annual tradition and um, I, I still hold, hold that really you know, close to me. Mm -hmm. And that's why every year I ask for photographs and I do the two or three page spread because I, I know how special that day is here at Sun Lakes. And I'm glad to see that it's growing and growing and it's still as exciting as it always was. I think it's one of my favorite events that we have here at Sun Lakes. It brings out many members of the community. Everybody's in a really great mood and everyone's wearing their red, white, and blue. So yeah, it's one of my favorite events. So in addition to Lifestyles, you also produce six other community magazines. Would you like to give a shout out to your amazing staff? Absolutely. I cannot do this alone. What I like to do is make things pretty. And before I brought on, you know, people to help me, because I'm, you know, one of those, I'm, I can do it all myself, which I can't. So um, I was doing all the invoicing and I hated that part. And I would just say, oh, I have an invoice for three months and... I thought, this is no way to run a business. So I was brought somebody in to, to do that part for me. And um, we ended up becoming best friends. And her name is Stacy, mm -hmm. And she is um, very particular and organized, whereas I'm kind of loosey-goosey. So she's, she's done that. And then when we started growing with the magazines, I trained her on doing some 
layout and input so she can do, you know, part of the the design work since there, there's so much now. There's actually probably 350 pages mm. that we lay out every month with all six magazines. So we really needed her. And then my other um, friend, Jolie, who's been the printer since 2003, she... Um, came on board and in addition to doing the printing when we started doing hand delivery and we started doing hand delivery after the Banning Post Office lost the magazine for two weeks Mm -hmm. in uh, like 2012 I think it was and so we decided to start just doing it door to door and at first it was 10 people it was myself and Tim and our sons and we brought in our friends because we wanted people that we trusted in Sun Lakes. And since then, she has taken it over with her husband and her nephews. And there's four of them. And they do it every month. And they're phenomenal at it. Well, one important factor that I don't think we've talked about is that the advertising that is in the the magazine completely pays for the magazine. Absolutely. And that was my in my initial proposal to the board. I said, you have a phenomenal product, you have an amazing community. This should not be an expense. I know how to do this, make it beautiful, and solicit the advertising to underwrite all the costs. And um, people jumped at the opportunity to advertise to this great community. Mm-hmm. So that's, an e- that's the easy part is getting the advertisers. We don't have any salespeople, which is a blessing. People see the magazine, it sells itself, and we get calls every day, all day long. That they want want to be in the magazine as an advertiser. That's great. Well, when you aren't publishing magazines, what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, Well, we have three grandsons, so they're a priority. We see them because uh, my schedule is, you know, my work-life balance is I work the first 20 days of the month for 15 hours a day. So I don't have a lot of time to do anything else. Then the last 10 days of the month, I get in all my fun. So it's really concentrated. So we get our grandsons for a few days and spoil them rotten and send them home spoiled, which is fun. And we travel. I love to travel just like you do. And gardening is wonderful. And during COVID, I became a baker. And I bake bread and cakes. And I had a lot more time during COVID. I kind of missed the shutdown. Okay, well, it sounds like you keep busy even in your free time. Well, before we wrap this up, is there anything else that you'd like to add to uh, give the residents a little bit more information about yourself? Actually, I do want to thank everybody from, you know, the very beginning from Marvin Haas and Julie Jeffries to uh, Linda Vera and Marsha Gold and Robin Warner and everybody now who's on the committee, all our committee members, and I'd like to name you all, and I probably could if we had an hour. They have, all of them, been so supportive. There's not been a single meeting or year or committee that has not been behind me as my um, cheerleader. And that just keeps me buoyed to keep going. So I want to th- say thank you to everybody in Sun Lakes and to all the contributor- contributors and all of the photographers. This would not be anything close to what it is without everybody's help and input. And you, Anita, you've been amazing over the years and you're just getting busier and busier and that's not what I am used to, but I'm so happy that you're so involved and that I get to, to at least email you often. Thank you. Yes. Well, thank you for, for being here today, Courtney. And thank you, Sun Lakes, for joining us for this informative interview with Courtney Taylor, the publisher of Lifestyles Magazine. I know that I, along with many other residents of the community, are looking forward to many more years of reading this beautifully produced and highly informative magazine that's produced each month just for us. Thank you. Anita Lawrence for Good Day Sun Lakes.